Greetings, my friends. Since I'm a humble slave of Christ, a anointed and called watchman and pastor who gives all glory to God for all that I accomplish, I believe the Lord keeps giving me revelation. Here's the latest. Right now we have no less than eight major storms, which are being called thousand-year flooding storms across the face of the earth. A lot in America, but a lot around the world as well. Numbers in the Bible are very important, as I've proven many times. Let's go back to creation. It was a thousand years from Adam to Noah. Noah is the one who actually built the ark. God told him to build the ark for the great flood. He was getting ready to wipe people off the face of the earth. God said he'd never destroy earth again by flood, but he didn't say he wouldn't bring flooding in to the earth. And again, the ark ties into the flood. Now, we have a man named Enoch, a man who is perfect in God's eyes. He walked upright. He walked with God. And one day Enoch was not. He was no more. God raptured him. He was the beginning of the rapture, which again, the flood is also a type of rapture. It's a perfect example of the rapture. You've got Methuselah in there. Methuselah was a thousand years old when the flood came. So you've got Adam to Enoch. You've got Adam to Noah, a thousand years. Methuselah was a thousand when the flood came, right at a thousand. Then you've got Abraham, who came about a thousand years after Noah, which, which God made the eternal covenant with. And that's very, very important as well, because God is getting ready to deal with his chosen people, the Jews, in the 70th week of Daniel, the tribulation and great tribulation, after the ark is filled and taken away in the imminent rapture. You're catching all this? And then Jesus Christ, the second Adam, the final Adam, came a thousand years after Abraham, the man who God made the eternal covenant with. Amazing stuff, my friends. This thousand is everywhere. Everywhere you hear now, again, <coughs> thousand year flooding in these storms. And you've got the huge hurricane now hitting the east coast of America again. Thousand year uh, flooding from this storm is the tagline. This has been going on now, my friends, for the past seven years. God's perfect number. So much is happening. God is showing the world that he is getting ready to rapture the true bride of Christ out of here imminently. That he is bringing flooding, not to destroy the world. Many will be destroyed, but the world will never be destroyed by flooding again. But God is using flooding again to bring us back around full circle to the actual rapture, which is the exactly what happened when Noah and his family and the animals that God put on the ark escaped destruction. They were hidden away, taken away from the destruction in the ark. As a true bride of Christ will be taken away from the destruction of the earth, which is the tribulation and great tribulation, will be gone before that begins. I know many Christians don't believe that. That will be to their detriment, potentially their eternal detriment. Things are happening so fast. Things are just are just snowballing so quickly. Few Christians can see it. They're tied up in the world, wrapped up in the world, believing false prophecies, believing lies, trying to date set. All I do is bring you the truth from God's word and the revelation that I believe the Lord gives me. I give him all glory for anything that I accomplish. He knows my heart and my intentions. Here's the bottom line. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer. Do the six steps in a box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day without fail. True Christians, wits to pray for the lost daily at your job. If you're not doing it, do it now. And look up. True Bride of Christ, our death draw nine. We fly soon. May God bless you. Share this video. Please wake up, my friends. Time is truly short. We fly soon.